Hello everyone, Deb Floros, guest designer for Beta Hall Leak. Today I want to talk about kidney ear wires. Now when I was growing up, kidney ear wires came in one size, these little teeny tiny ones. And I believe these are still made and still used, but I don't see them very often. But they're little tiny cuties and they're fun to work with, but I love how these have evolved. So check out these different sizes. So these are a medium shaped or a medium sized kidney ear wire and they're pretty nice size. I like working with this size, they're a great size. They come in different metals. So this one is a pretty color metal. And then look at this big guy. Now I love working with these. These are so much fun. Um, they just are interesting and they create some great movement. Um, they're just a lot of fun. So they've come a long way from these little teeny tiny ones that used to be common. So a lot of different manufacturers make these. So check out betaholic.com for options on sizes and metals and different manufacturers. So just a real quick um, walkthrough of a kidney ear wire. So it is shaped a little bit like a kidney bean. And the um, charm or dangle or whatever you're going to use is meant to hang from this little notch here. So if you string on something, it will sit in that notch and dangle down at the bottom of the earring. The wire then curves up and around and into this little notch to secure it. And I find that these are really nice to make sure an earring is gonna stay in your ear. Um, I don't always have the same luck with some other kinds of ear wires, but these, um, these are gonna stay in your ears without the need of any kind of backing. So that's the design of them. Now, I will say that I think um, there's a little bit of a challenge with these, even though they're great on all other fronts, and that's that if you put something on this ear wire, it has a likelihood of coming off and um, may get lost in your jewelry box or somewhere else. So. Um, I just want to show you what I do to help prevent that. So I created this fun little loop of check glass beads. These are available at beadaholic.com. And I, um, I string the, I'm stringing this on from the back and watch. It moves around and it can come off right off. Um, it could even come off from the back end. So I like to make a couple of modifications to this ear wire so that um, I don't lose my charm or my dangle. So I always double check that I'm putting it on so that the, the um, right side of my piece is outward on the ear wire. Much like other ear wires, you just wanna double check that you're putting it on correctly, especially if you're making modifications like this. So what I'm gonna do is put that little charm on and then I'm going to cinch up that loop with a pair of chain nose pliers. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna squish that together for lack of a better term. And then you'll see that it actually kind of tweaks the location of your loop to connect the ear wire. So I like to then make one additional adjustment and that's to pull that, that connector a little outward from your piece. Now that also then pulls away that loop. So I make one additional tweak there and then I've got my cinched up ear wire and I can still attach the other piece. So now this little dangle is not going anywhere. And if you have a charm, so these were done with um, 24 gauge wire, these little charmies. But if they were a larger gauge wire or if they were a metal charm that I was attaching, they would um, they would stay for sure. 
So that's just a fun little tip. I hope that it's helpful to you and I hope that you'll give these um, fun kidney shaped ear wires a try. Check out the availability of them at betaholic.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.